Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel and welcome back to another video. So tonight we're going to be sharing with you a keto stock up haul and I just want to span my goodies because this is probably the most groceries, this is the most amount of money we've spent on groceries in a very, very long time and I'm excited that the kids and I were able to have this money to be able to spend for groceries on a stock up because there are just some things that we are not able to get normally and this will help us. So we went to four stores. We went to Aldi, Food Line, Walmart, and Harris Teeter. I did not use one coupon. Can you all believe that? I know it's challenging my spirit, but there's a Super Doubles event coming up this weekend and I plan to be in that event using all the coupons. But anywho, let me share with you the things that we were able to get. And I have a video coming out telling you where this money came from because this is not a part of my normal regular grocery budget. So be looking for that video. I think it's coming out Sunday. I think. I'm sure. Sunday. So anywho, let me share with you what we were able to get. So um, we don't drink, I don't drink soda, but I do drink seltzer. And the kids like it as well, but they drink all of my seltzer. And because I am traveling for work, I would like to, I usually have coffee in the morning, but I usually want to have something for lunch. So I decided to get two seltzers. The kids can share and mom will have her own. I can take uh, to work one and I can have one when I come home. And that will be enough to get us through. These were $2.79 a piece. We picked up salted butter. And I do have butter already. But we use quite a lot of butter. And I never want to run out. This was $2.99. This is moveless butter. It's the cheapest I'm able to find at Harris Teeter. I picked up two cream cheese. They were $0.99 cents each. This week, blackberries were $0.99 cents each. And then this Simply Clear sparkling water was $0.69. Cent. I picked up two of those. I picked up Jackson some oranges, uh, some little mandarins, three pounds were $2.99. I also picked up these uh, mission style tortillas. These are the carb balance, the five grams of carbs. The kids are enjoying those at $3.99. Lily's chocolate chips was $6.99. And then Jackson likes this, um, what is it? Uh, sandwich pepperoni. Now this is the boar's head because this is what they had. Normally I get it from Walmart and it's a little bit cheaper, but I got a third of a pound for 306 i picked up two bags of the slaw we're either gonna make this ahead for some egg roll in a bowl that we can eat off for the week or at least a couple lunches they were two for three dollars the next thing the kids wanted was some uh cheese sticks i do take that in my lunch as well so they were 4.29 buy one get one free and i now just picked up some cooking spray at 129 eggs this week were 87 cents a piece limit four so i picked up four eggs I have not gotten cauliflower in a couple of weeks, but they were four for $5, so we picked up four of those. And then the steam fresh broccoli was five for $5. We picked up five of those. We picked up some no sugar added ketchup, and then Jackson likes to have these little mini peanut butter filled. This was $2.79, and these little peanut butter filled pretzels were $3.499. Uh, I think they were cheaper. I could have got the larger ones, same size cheaper at Aldi and I'll know that for next time but that's his one little treat that he likes and so today at Harris Teeter we spent $63.83 I paid all cash I had $18.47 just in VIX savings and so far I have 172 fuel points that I have to use by March 31st so that is my Harris Teeter next we have Walmart and um, I picked up a bag of the small peeled devein and tailed off shrimps for $5. We got some freezer bags. These were $1.37. I picked up some of this unflavored gelatin. I was going to try some cookie recipe. And I don't have the beef gelatin, but I was hoping this would work. This was $0.86. Cents. We picked up a big thing of parchment paper. That was like $3 and some change. This toilet paper was $0.68. Cent. Jackson blows his nose more than anybody I know, so prayerfully he can use this for his nose. Um, the paper towels was $1.96. Sugar-free syrup was $1.33. Heavy whipping cream was $1.61. This meat, okay, I think I saw Matt from Keto Connect 
or it might have been another guy. I can't remember. Talk about if you're in a pinch for ground beef, you could actually get this big one. Somebody, I can't remember. It, mm. Anywho, there's five pounds of ground meat. It was $10 and some change. And so I'm going to divide this into five one pound chunks, put them in the freezer bags, and then we'll have five pounds of ground beef where I can either make some small hamburgers or I can just use it as ground meat. And so this is going to help us because ground beef was just expensive this week. I could not find one meat deal no matter what store I went to. So I figured this was not a bad deal. And we're going to separate this out tonight. The next thing I got was the cheese. Now you guys have been encouraging me to get the big bags of cheese. So we got the, this is two pounds of the low moisture part skim mozzarella shredded that we use for our fat head pizza dough. And then we got the finely shredded sharp. And these both were $4.88. So together they were just a little bit over $9. And Kraft Cheese was buy one, get one free this week. So two of them would have been $3.79, which would have been two pounds. So I think I would have came out cheaper getting the Kraft buy one, get one free this week. Let me think that through. So $3.79 would have gotten me two pounds of cheese. Or what is it, eight ounces? What comes in the bags? I can't remember. I'll have to think it out. Anyway, the reason I normally get the smaller bags is because I can get more variety. This time I can only get the sharp and the mozzarella, which is what we use. But sometimes I can get Italian or Parmesan or the Kobe Jack or something like that so we can have a little bit more variety in our cheeses. We do use this all the time. But right now, as it stands, we only have sharp. And if we want it to be Fiesta cheese, we'll just sprinkle a little bit of taco seasoning in it and it'll be just fine. At Walmart, we spent $41.43. Then we went over to, we had $5. So this was actually our last stop, but um, we went to Food Line because I couldn't find any meat deals. And actually, right at the end, they had like two markdown meats. But Alana needed some throat drops, so I couldn't get the extra markdown meat, but it was fine. So $1.99 for Ricola, and this um, turkey sausage was $2. So at Walmart, I mean at Food Line, we spent $4.16. And then we went over to Aldi. And at Aldi, here's what we picked up. We got... The center cut bacon, this actually wasn't the one I told Alana to pick up, but that's okay because this was $3.39. There was one for $2.49, but it's totally fine. We picked up two of the premium sausages. Those were $1.89 a piece. The pink salmon was like $3.99. The tilapia was $3.99. And then the uh, pork sausages that the kids and I like just for breakfasts, uh, that was $5.29. So with this, we're going to put this in a recipe of some kind. This, we just... Um, Make sure it's all ready and the kids can use that. We picked up a thing of olive oil for three nine uh, two nine two forty nine, and then I picked up the avocado oil, but that was six ninety nine. So a little bit expensive on the avocado oil, but no problem. We picked up these cheddar brats for two forty nine. Then I picked up this seventy five feet of aluminum foil for a dollar eighty nine. I picked up some of this garlic and herb cheese, which is kind of like the laughing cow for the kids sandwiches at one twenty nine. Mushrooms were $1.09, strawberries $2.49. This very medley was like $2.49 or something like that. I think I could just have this with a little bit of um, whipped cream just for a little snack. And then my spinach was $1.19. My spaghetti squash was expensive. It was $4.44, but $0.99 cents a pound. So it's a pretty big squash. We probably can do a big baked spaghetti and then have leftovers for we can have a dinner and a lunch out of this one. So that was my Aldi haul, and at Aldi, I spent $47.38. So all total, on everything you see here, I spent $160, give or take a little bit of change that I have left. It's about $159, and I have some change in my wallet. But $160, I had actually originally planned out for $200, but I had to put gas in my car. So I'm trying to debate whether I'm gonna make up my difference at some other point. But right now, this is what we have for our grocery haul for this week. And I'm gonna take you into the meal plan. 
and I'll show you what's in our fridge, our freezer, and our pantry, and then the meal plan. Okay, so what is in our freezer this week? And we're going to be using up this stuff or we're gonna pitch some things. So we still have some broccoli. We've got Brussels sprouts and green beans and broccoli here. Then we have some collard greens and some green beans and there are keto treats in there. Um, onions, peppers, um, mushroom scraps. Actually, I'm gonna pull that out and throw that. I'm gonna pull that out, okay. Um. This is probably a keto treat of some kind. I don't know what it is. I think it's keto bread. That's what I think that is. But I already um, cut those onions. We have one cream cheese, two cream cheese. This is um, berries, which we need to eat. And then this is the sugar-free jam. All right. In our fridge, whoop, we have... Some cauli rice, I actually probably need to cook that tonight. We have a few of the Mission Tortillas. Okay, that says eight ounces, so I probably came out better with the Walmart cheese. Okay, we have a little bit of string cheese and some butter and cream cheese. We have just three eggs left, and then down here we have some salad that needs to go and then we have um, one cucumber I need to use some zucchini and some pepper and onion blend that I probably need to use I'm gonna switch this out because that's been in there longer so I'm gonna use that tonight to cook and then these are almonds one drop biscuit left and then here is our um, fridge door couple things in there Okay, moving over to the pantry. Not a lot has changed in here. We still do have um, these diced tomatoes, but I do have hamburger meat now, so I may do a chili. So I'm thinking about doing a chili, and then I have some pesto spaghetti sauce. So I'm going to do probably baked spaghetti with hamburger meat and spaghetti sauce this week. Um, we have a few nuts and... That is about it. So all we have, we were out of syrup. We had a little bit of that. So we'll finish that up. And then I did buy a syrup. So pretty slim. But, you know, some of this we've had. So I think I am going to put chili on the menu for one day this week. Because we do have the hamburger meat now. So let me take you into the meal plan. Okay, you guys, so I'm going to write down my weekly grocery, not my grocery, my meal plan. And this is Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. So if you're new to my channel, thank you for being here. But I meal plan Wednesday to Thursday because that's the day I go shopping and my sales roll again on Tuesday. So I just changed it. So today is 27, 28, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So this is the week of February 27th through March the 5th. And then I write down things we have going on during the week. So we had Taekwondo tonight. Tomorrow we have Taekwondo, but we do not have a... Um, we normally have like a small group, but we're not meeting. We were supposed to meet tonight, but most people were sick. And then our group that we normally go to are going out of town, some folks. And then Friday, we have Taekwondo. Saturday, we have no thing. No thing. Praise the Lord. Sunday, we have church. And then Alana has a youth group thing. Um, Monday is homeschool day, is a homeschool day where we don't go out of the house. So we, this is our day for catch up if we have to do anything or reteach, whatever. And then I have my ladies meeting. And then Tuesday, which is our busiest day, we have Taekwondo and then I sing. And we just, we're out late because I sing late. 
it's like a two hours. So I normally try to plan a crock pot meal here. And then I'm just gonna go down the list of things that I have. So this week we still have chicken. We have chicken thighs. I know we have chicken thighs. I think we also have drumsticks too. We have hamburger. And we have uh, sausage. So those are our main meats that we have. So I know I can make, as a crock pot meal for Tuesday, I think I'm going to do the cheeseburger soup. We love that one. And I think I'm going to make keto cornbread to go with that. Okay, I have got to use up Saturday. I know I'm going to do chicken thighs because I have a large pack that I'm just going to let defrost. And so I'm going to use the chicken thighs on Saturday, but I'm not sure exactly. Um, I'll probably have some kind of veggie. And we have broccoli. So I know that'll be that. So tomorrow night, it's Thursday night and we don't have anything extra. So I think I'm going to do um, garlic zucchini with um, cheesy sausage because I've got to use my zucchini up. Sunday, I think I'm going to do baked spaghetti using my spaghetti squash. And I'm going to use that squash. And we'll do a uh, red sauce. Okay, Friday, we'll, we'll just do our pizza like we normally do. Friday is pizza night. We enjoy pizza night. Tonight, we're going to do some fried cabbage and sausage as well. And we have turkey sausage. We'll just use that. And then for Monday night, which I normally cook a meal on Monday night. So let's see. We'll do burgers in a bowl or we'll do a meatloaf. One of the two. The kids like either one. So we'll do burgers in a bowl with meatloaf and we'll probably do some bacon if we do the burgers in a bowl here. We'll do baked spaghetti and have enough for lunches Monday. The chicken thighs will actually do Saturday and probably have enough for lunch on Sunday lunch. And then we'll do baked spaghetti for Sunday dinner and have enough for Monday's lunch. So that's how we'll do it. So tonight as far as prepping, I am going to do... I'm going to separate the cheese because we bought big bags of cheese. So I'm going to separate the cheese. I'm going to separate the ground beef. And for the weekend prep, we're going to probably do some muffins. We're going to do some waffles. We'll do the sausage patties. We might do egg muffins this week because I don't think we've done those in a couple of weeks. So maybe some egg muffins. So those are a couple of things that I'm thinking about prepping for the weekend. This I have to get done tonight so it can go in the freezer. But this looks like a good meal plan for us for the next week. So anywho, there it is, our grocery haul and meal plan. We do hope that this was helpful for you. Um, let us know in the comments what you're having for this week. Let us know what you're prepping. And if you're doing keto, let us know how your keto journey is working for you. The one thing I didn't mention in the grocery haul was a big thing of water, which we did pick that up from Walmart. But anyway, this is our gro uh, grocery haul and meal plan for this week. We do appreciate you stopping by. If you're new here, hit the red subscribe button. Also hit the bell. Don't forget to like our video and we'll see you next time. Bye now.